So as an Amazon influencer, I was tired of spending too much time finding products, figuring out how much money a video made, and not knowing what videos were doing well. So I created an easy tool that would solve these problems along with other tedious tasks. And in this video, I'll guide you through all the cool features it has, but if you want to skip to a specific part, just check these times here. All right, so let's get started in the Amazon Creator Hub page. Here in the Creator Hub page, there are three unique features that Sortio X offers. You've got conversion rate, you've got earnings, and then you've got video placement. So we'll begin with video conversion rate. With the video conversion rate, you will see a little percentage coming down this column here. What this is tracking is it is tracking the last 30 days, similar to how the average view percentage does, average view duration, and then your views. That's important to know because on several occasions you will see a 0% conversion while you see a $9.38 in earnings. And that's because the earnings track longer than 30 days whereas like I said the conversion is only 30 days. Another scenario that you might see with the conversion rate is that you will see it says $0 in earnings but you have a actual conversion rate. The reason this happens is because your earnings is only tracking the ASIN that you tagged in that video, whereas your conversion rate is going off of anything that the customer bought after watching your video. And we'll talk more about that as we go into the earnings feature. All right, so now within the earnings column, you will see how much money you've made from each specific video in your creator hub. In order for this earnings feature to work, you need to make sure that you have your Amazon reports page open using this link here on your creator hub. It's this one here. It's the one that we're all used to, but just make sure you have that link open. Otherwise, all you will see are zeros. If you had your creator hub page open before the earnings page, just make sure to refresh both pages and you should see those numbers going from zeros to the actual numbers you've earned for that specific ASIN. Unlike the conversion rate where it only tracks the last 30 days, the earnings column actually tracks this current year and then last year. One important thing to note is that these numbers are only tracking the ASINs that you tagged in that specific video. But if you have a video that has multiple ASINs, it'll just add those together and then it'll show you how much you've made from those combined. I like to use this earnings column more as a base of what I've earned from my products that I've invested in. But just know that as mentioned within the conversion rate, this is not tracking your related product sales. Once again, it is only tracking the ASINs that you tagged for this specific video. And then a way for you to organize this earnings column even further is with this drop down menu here. You can sort by show all where it's going to show you all of your videos, no filter. You can sort it by the ones that have earned you $50 or more. And then you can sort it by the ones that have earned you $100 or more. You cannot sort it by high to low like you can do here with Amazon's filters. This is a static filter earnings here. The only way that you can filter it is with this drop down menu, but you cannot sort it from high to low or low to high. Okay, so next within the Creator Hub, we have the video placement feature. With this feature, you can quickly see where your video is on a product listing. Here you have five different filters to choose from. You can leave it at show all, you can put it on upper carousel, you can put it on lower carousel, you can put it on none, or you can put it on no carousel. At the time I'm filming this, there are currently no lower carousels, but when they do come back, you will see a blue heading here that says lower. With all of these headings, if you hover over them, you will see a little hand pop up. That just means that you can click on it and it'll take you to the first ASIN that you have tagged. So as you can see, click on there, it'll bring it directly to that product page. Okay, the next place that we have a Sortio X feature is here on the Amazon reports page. Within this page, you will now be able to see video placements for the products that are listed on this table. In order for this video placement feature to work, you need to make sure that you have your Creator Hub page opened first. That way the feature knows what Amazon ID to look for on these product pages. So if you opened up your reports page first and then you opened up your Creator Hub page, you will see everything as none. If that happened, just refresh both pages once again and you should see it pop up this time. The most important thing for this feature is that you are set on none. If you go through any other category, this feature will not work, so make sure 
that you are grouping by none. After that, you can filter it even further. You can go for only uppers, you can go for only lowers, or you can go for only nuns. With all of these links, you will be able to hover over the title and it'll take you directly to that product page, as you can see here. And anytime you wanna use Amazon's filters, it should automatically reload the video placements, but if for whatever reason it's showing up as all none or it's not loading, just refresh the page and it should pop up once again. All right, so now we are on Amazon search pages. Here, I've just went ahead and searched the keyword massager. You can search for whatever it is that you're looking for. And what you'll see is that these Sortio X tables start popping up underneath each of the product listings. So if we take a closer look at these tables, you'll see a bunch of different information. You've got the ASI in of the product, you've got the product rating, the video carousel, video slots available, influencer videos, whether your video is on the listing, and in order for this to work specifically, you need to make sure that your Creator Hub page is opened beforehand. If you opened up your Amazon search page and then opened up your Creator Hub page, just refresh both pages so that it can accurately check what ID it needs to look for on the product listing. If it is on the product listing, it'll show up as a green check mark. If it's not on the product listing, it'll show up as a red X. Moving on, you will also be able to see how many have been sold within the last month. Another cool thing that you can see is whether or not that item is in low stock. If it is, it'll say yes in red. When it's not, it'll say no in green. You can also quickly see whether or not it's sponsored. Again, if it is a red X, that means that it is not sponsored. You also have the influencer commission percentage, the influencer commission dollar amount, and then the affiliate commission percentage along with the affiliate commission dollar amount. And lastly, you can see the best seller rank. You can also see the date that this product was first available. Now, I understand that this is a lot of information here and it may not be useful to everybody. So if you scroll up and you click on these three orange lines, you will see this little table pop up. From here, you can click or unclick any of these titles by doing so it'll automatically remove those headings from this data table so some people may not even want affiliate commission percentage on there you can take that off or you can just put it back on by clicking it once again all right so when you search for your product you will get that data table pop up under each individual listing and it can be pretty overwhelming so what you can do to simplify this further is if you click this little bar graph emoji you'll have this sorting table pop up Within this sorting table, you'll have a bunch of different categories here. You have image, product, ASIN, price, rating, number sold, video carousel, video slots available, influencer video, your video, influencer commission percentage, influencer commission dollar amount, affiliate commission percentage, and then affiliate commission dollar amount. You also have on the left here, a little hidden drop down arrow where if you click that, it'll show you the best seller rank for each of these products here. Now, all these columns may not be of importance to you. So if you click these three orange lines on the top right, you can hide whatever categories you don't need. For example, I don't really use affiliate commission dollar amount or percentage when I'm doing product research. So I'll typically hide those. That way this isn't so squished together. And before I keep going, I wanna mention, in order for your video column to work and actually display whether or not you're on that product listing, you need to make sure that you're logged into your Creator Hub page. If you logged into your Creator Hub page after you've opened up this sorting page, just refresh both pages and it'll automatically adjust and actually show you if you are on here. Otherwise, it will have no Amazon ID to look for. So make sure you open up that Creator Hub page in order for this column specifically to work. Okay, so let's take a look at the five filter options that you can customize here on the top left. You've got the price min and max, reviews min and max, sold min and max, video slots available min and max, and then the influencer videos min and max. So I'll just do a quick demonstration here. Let's do a price minimum of $20, maximum of let's say $100, minimum reviews of 1000, maximum of let's, let's just leave that blank. We'll do sold amounts, minimum 100, let's do 100. Video slots available and influencer videos available. These are interchangeable. So you can either do, for example, a four max and a one minimum. That just means that there has to be a minimum of one video slot available. So you're pretty much guaranteed a video slot if you were to buy that product. 
but you will need to double check this information as I'll show you guys here in just a second. Okay, so now that we've customized it to our liking, you can see that we filtered it out from 51 products down to only eight products. From here, I've now filtered it further using the high and low features. If you click that arrow there, you will go from a high to low. If you click the top arrow, you'll go from a low to high. So now I'm adjusting it via price. We're gonna click this first link here and you can do so by just hovering over it, clicking there. You can do it on any of these listings and it'll open up any new tab. So this one here specifically says that there are four video slots available and there's only one influencer video currently on the listing. So if we double check that information, we click on here, it says four video slots are available because there is only one influencer video available. Now it says Amazon customer, but you can see that he earns commission, which means that he is an Amazon influencer. Now it is very, 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 very important that you always double check this video slot information. The reason for for this is because any of the data that's provided here on the sorting page is directly what is being provided by Amazon's servers. Now, Amazon has a ton of different ways that it shows a product listing, so it may not always be correct. The majority of the time that you'll see this issue is when you're sorting by high ratings here. Whenever you see a product that has over 40,000 reviews, over 20,000 reviews, even sometimes like 10,000 reviews, you will see that it says it's got video slots available. You've got to kind of think intuitively here. If a product has over 40,000 reviews and it doesn't even have the full video slots available, that's probably Amazon giving us a wrong result here. Because if we actually click on this product link, you will see that it says here has four influencer videos. You will see that if we click on there, it actually has five influencer videos. So one, two, three, four, and five, which means that in this scenario, the actual listing or data that Amazon was giving us was incorrect. So you should always, always make sure that this data is correct before purchasing that product. I'd say about 90% of the time, the data that's provided here is correct. So you should always double check just because Amazon servers will sometimes provide you the incorrect information. Now, let's say that we did want to keep all of these eight products. Let's say that these were all correct. They had the correct information here on the video slots. They were all really good products to buy and review. If you'd like, you can take these eight products that you filtered, click this green download button. It'll download all of the information that you see here on this sort table into an Excel type spreadsheet. So as you can see here, it'll give you all of that same information, the product URL, a link to the image, the product name, price, rating, video carousel numbers, all of that important information that you had on that actual sorting table in case you want to organize it even further. So you'll be able to see the data table along with the sorting table on the best seller page. You'll be able to see it on the today's deal page. You can see that some of these will have a blank column. That's because these have other products. If you click on this link, it'll pop up each of these products here. So it's not able to track all three in one column. But if you click here, you'll get that same sorting page so that you can filter out even further. You can also see these on the orders page by clicking this little table graph you'll get the sorting page but on here you will not have the individual data columns that you would see in other places this is really useful especially if you're just starting out with the amazon influencer program because you can go through your orders filter it by the number of video slots available and then start with those videos first to ensure that you are getting placed on product pages as soon as possible and in turn giving yourself the opportunity to earn more the next place that you can open up the sorting table is within the amazon lists here you do not have the individual data columns but if you click that emoji you will be able to see all of those products here that you can filter further and then the next spot you can see it in is in your saved for later tab here you will have that data column again along with the sorting table that can pop up for you to choose those videos that meet your criteria. The next spot that you can see it in is on the actual product listing. So you've got this data column here that now it's a little bit different. It's no longer underneath the product unless you were to scroll down where you will be able to see it on the related type products that show up on this same product listing. You can filter it further by clicking on the sorting table and now you can customize this specific page even further. Now the next place that we will find sort UX features is on the product listing page. These are not referring to the data column that you see here or the sorting table that you can pop up from here that are as mentioned previously going 
for these related products. This is about those of you that want to do affiliate marketing while also in the Amazon Influencer Program. I've gone ahead and added a copy product title. So instead of highlighting everything here and copying it, you can just do a simple click of a button here. And then as you can see, you'll have that whole title. So in case you want to post it in your YouTube description or your blog and your TikTok, you have that ability to do it just at a quicker pace. Another sometimes tedious task is grabbing your affiliate link, which you will have to go up here to your text on your site stripe and then copy that. You will now just be able to copy that affiliate link and then go on your way. An important thing to know is that the affiliate link that is copied is going to be whatever Amazon ID you have currently tracked in your Amazon site stripe. So make sure that you are on your correct Amazon ID in order for this to copy it correctly. So if you're interested in the Sortio X Chrome extension tool, you can go to Sortio X com you'll be brought here to this landing page you can go to buy now or you can scroll down to where it says sign up from here you can click that it'll bring you to the checkout page where you'll do all the necessary information you'll create a login and then it'll send you an email sometimes it shows up in your spam or junk so make sure you check those two areas it'll give you a password reset email if you did not receive that email and you're having issues you can message support at sortiox.com and they'll be able to help you with resetting your password if you did not receive that initial email once you received your email you can can come back you can log into your account and that's where you'll be able to see any of your payment settings transaction history things like that but in order for you to actually get the chrome extension working on amazon pages you can click this download button at the very bottom of the page or you can just google sortio x or look for it in the chrome web store you'll be brought here to this page where you can then add it to chrome okay once you've added the sortio x chrome extension tool to Chrome, you will go here to the top right where you see a little puzzle piece. You'll click on that and your Sortio X extension will be hidden in there. What you can do is click on this little pin icon so that you can see it here on your toolbar every single time. Now what you need to do is you need to click on there. You need to log in with that same email and password you used over on SortioX.com. So once you're logged in, this should say active. Mine says not active because I'm an administrator, so I don't have to pay. But you Yours should say active. If yours says not active, that means you need to renew your Sortio X subscription. But let's say that now yours says active and you're logged in and you had an Amazon page open. If you had it open before you logged in, it will not automatically show you all of that data. What you'll have to do is you'll then have to refresh that Amazon page after logging in. And now you will have all of that data start popping up. You do not have to log in every single time. It will stay logged in as long long as you've had that Sortio X tool installed. Okay, now moving back here to the Sortio X website, there's a few important details for you to know. You can become an affiliate member by logging in and joining our program. You can see all the details there. You can also scroll all the way to the bottom. Here you will see a connect and stay up to date with the upcoming features tab. This is going to direct you to the Facebook group I created for other Amazon influencers. In this Facebook group, we will talk about anything Amazon influencer program and I will always 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 show you guys any new features that I'm going to be adding to Sortio X. I will describe them. I will show you a tutorial within this Facebook group. This is the easiest way to know what's going on within the Amazon Influencer program as well as what's going to be added or what's being changed within Sortio X. I also always take suggestions within this influencer group on what to add to the Sortio X program. And again, if you have any issues whatsoever, you can go Go here and email support at sortiox.com and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. I'm already planning other features and I'm already working on other features as this video is coming out. So by the time this comes out, there will probably already be other features that have been posted within that Facebook group for Sortio X and Amazon influencers. So make sure you check that out. I hope this was helpful. I hope that you guys give it a try. And if you have any questions, join that Facebook group or message support at sortiox.com. Dot com.